What's up, guys? It's Brian from Hash for Hub. It's about 3 p.m. Eastern Time in January 14, 2018. And we're coming to you with a brand new trading video. Ethereum is going to be the topic of today. Uh, but first, uh, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, or if you're on Steemit or DTube, uh, would love it for your upvote or your or re-steam. Uh, that would be greatly appreciated. So, <clears throat> what are we looking at? We're looking at Ether, like I had mentioned, and Ether's been on a run. I love Ether. I'm a huge fan. I've been holding Ether for a long time, long time, when nobody really paid attention to it. I was holding it. I love the platform. I love you know the the fundamentals of it. Which again, I don't I don't believe in fundamentals driving price, but I love the fundamentals of it in the sense of what they are trying to do, the business that they're trying to build. But I have to look at things on a technical basis. That's the way we trade. That's the way I've always traded. The charts are all-knowing. They're a pure reflection of sentiment. And I can't look at the news stories to go ahead and put money to work. I need to look at the actual charts themselves. And that's just the way we go about things. So, what are we looking at here? So, <clears throat> I just overlaid like an Elliott Wave 5, five wave, um, uh, uh, you know, ba basically, you know, roadmap here. And it looks to me as if we're almost done with this, with this huge bull run without some sort of major correction. I can count five waves. Uh, that's that's what Elliott wave theory calls a, a motive wave. It comes in three. Excuse me. Comes in fives. Corrections normally come in threes, and in, unless it's a triangle or something like that. And so what I'm seeing here is that possibly this could be a top. Now, I don't like calling tops. I don't like calling bottoms. I like calling areas where you need to start paying attention. <laughs> really, that's that's the way. That's the way I like to I like to coin it. Areas where things may start going awry or be or basically a, a, a change of direction, and that's what I think is happening here. So if we zoom in specifically right here, let's pull this down to like a four-hour chart. And what do we see? Well, you know, kind of see the fifth wave coming up here, and there appears that this line here, this bottom line here, is some sort of support line. And the top line here is some sort of resistance line. It doesn't, it could possibly turn into a bearish flag. It could turn into a triangle if this thing kind of goes sideways more. It can turn into a lot of different things. One of the things that we think we may be seeing at the beginning of is an expanded flat. An expanded flat is actually what we saw in Bitcoin. That's how Bitcoin went ahead and corrected. It was with an expanded flat. And we may possibly see the same thing here on, on Ethereum. It's very, very early to be calling something like this. So I'm not calling it an expanded flat just yet. I'm calling it something is happening. <laughs> what, we, what, what it is, we don't know yet. But something is happening. And really, that's kind of the best way to trade because you don't want to be trading with blinders on. So as we get more information coming in, basically hour by hour, day by day, it's going to start telling us the story of what it actually is and how we need to go about trading it. So what, do, what does an expanded flat look like? Well, expanded flat has is, is basically what's called a 335. So the... The A, the A wave has three, is, is consists of three waves. The B wave co consists of three waves. And the C wave uh, consists of five waves. And let's take a look here real quick. What is it going to look like? So it would be something like this. You have your A, you have your B, and then you have your C. Okay. Now, where is C going to end up? Big question, right? I would say C is going to end up somewhere around here. There's a lot of support. You know, there's support here, there's support here, here, 
is a whole level, okay? The bottom is like right here. And I would say kind of almost a worst case scenario, we get back down to this 600 level, okay? A best case scenario, if this is what this truly is, is I believe we get somewhere around here, okay? An amazing case scenario would be right here, about 967, if that's, if that's what this is. Okay, and we're going to know soon. It's, it's something that's not going to take all, all too long to know. But you do need to understand that this is what's going on and that there's this long support level right here that the market tends to like to come back down to. I mean, it started off as long as over here and then boom, came here and then it came here. There's a good chance it may come down again right here. And then we're going to see what's going on here as far as the decision point, as far as will it come down here? And, and will our, our, our thoughts be accurate at that point? Now, it may roll off and do something else. And then from there, we're going to have to, ad we're going to, have to adjust our, our, our play. In other words, the way in which we're playing the market or trading the market. But you need, to, you need to understand these types of scenarios. So let's also take a look at the algos and see what they're saying for us. All right, so this is this is a four-hour chart. This is Poloniex data, and what are we looking at on a four-hour basis? Things look pretty, pretty bullish so far. Our our trend strength indicator is showing bullish, right? And we have our hidden support level right here. Now the market pierced through this hidden support level, and then it pierced back above it. So it looks like it's it look it's looking like it's testing this hidden support level right here. We'll know that in a few hours here whether or not it's going to come through or not. D-trend has has been has been kind of on a downward slope, right? We kind of on a downward slope here. Now this is not something we like to see. This is called divergence. So this is from. This is from, let's call it December 31st, where the market started moving up, right? The market started moving up, the D trend was also moving up, and then the D trend pretty much started just going sideways. And the market kept on going up and up and up and up and up. Okay, and D trend kept on going down and down and down. So this is super telling to us that possibly a major correction or, you know, at least a significant correction could be in the workings. And this is a, a huge looking glass into the future. This is like a crystal ball into the future. Now, MACD, again, on a four-hour basis, is starting to cross down. You also have your sign indicator, which is also crossing down too. So the sign indicator on the next few bars, so let's say in the next 12 hours, is probably going to be bottoming out, most likely. Let's take a look and see what's going on on a daily basis. What are we looking at? Hidden support level has moved up. Okay, the market's super high with regards to the hidden support level, right? And what happens? The market comes down to meet the hidden support level, not the other way around. Okay, if the market doesn't continue to go up or go sideways, then the hidden support level is going to stay where it's at. And that means we have a correction down to about a thousand, possibly a little bit lower. But the trend strength indicator is still saying bullish. But at the same time, we have a similar thing here with D-Trend, right? D-Trend is going down. The market's going up. Again, a huge telling sign that something's going awry. Something does not make sense in the market. So I'd be expecting some sort of correction, if not a sell-off. Correction being kind of uh, the lesser of the two. MACD is still showing super bullish sentiment. But that can change very quickly. I mean, look how quick it changed here, right? So same thing with the sign indicator. The sign indicator is at all-time highs, right? We're expecting it to turn back down. Once this thing starts, starts, to, starts to turn over and come down, it's a good chance that the sign indicator is also going to come down as well. So all in all, you know, the summary of this whole thing really is just basically beware. Be conscious of the possibilities of the market, of the direction the market can go. And just be prepared. If you're not prepared, then you're going to be shocked by things, and then you're not going to be able to trade appropriately. 
right now is a great time to start taking profits. If you don't start taking profits now and the market does come down, you can't take advantage of it. And then you also start making decisions from a point of stress, and that's never good. So we're going to leave it right there for you. Any questions, just let us know. Again, hit the subscribe button, the notification bell if you're new to us, and also if you're on Steemit or DTube. Um, any type of up upvote or re would be would be greatly appreciated. Thanks much and speak to you soon.